Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create PayPal payments button on your website in 2023. So creating PayPal payments buttons for your website. If you're eager, of course, to enable the quick and secure payments, uh, it's very, very important and is PayPal like very popular for you? So to do so, just stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of generating the PayPal payments buttons for your site. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use like the Brave browser and of course in your case, could be any other browser that you could possibly have for you. Once you open that browser, you'll have to go and create like a PayPal account first of all if you don't have one. Just go to this URL section, type paypal.com and hit the enter button. Of course for me, I guess I'm already logged in, yeah, so let me just open an incognito or a private window and go to paypal.com again. So for you, you'll find, of course if you have a problem language, I'll just go here, the bottom it changes. So for you, you can go to the top right corner and click on login to log in at your account. If you have an account, as you can see, you'll be able to log in right away. Click on sign up. If you don't have an account, it selects if you want to create a personal account or business account. If you're going to use this for like your store or your websites, make sure to create a business account for you. Click on continue. And of course, you're not a robot. Like just finish those stuff for me. I'm not going to do so and create your account. Once you log into your account or you created your account, you'll find yourself on something like that. Make sure to even get the PayPal app on your phone to make it very easy for you. If you want to check if this transaction uh, is done or something like that, just from your phone. Now, once you log in, of course, your PayPal account, of course, it's free and uh, like essential for creating your payments buttons to have a PayPal account. Without, you'll not be able to do so. So just navigate into seller tools. So where you can access seller tools, of course I access that because I don't want to show my information. So go to the settings. Once you go to the settings, you'll find yourself in here. Just simply click on seller tools. As simple as that, you'll find yourself in here. So you can see, you'll have to access basically the PayPal button section. So navigate to tools or settings, then seller tools, or even merchant servers is uh, services. If you like have, I don't know, maybe you will have that instead within the PayPal account and look for PayPal buttons as you can see. Well, once you do so, as you can see, so here, seller tools, so sell online easily and grow your business with seller tools, create PayPal buttons, get ins uh, instant payment notification, and do much more. So sell online, PayPal buttons, create and manage secure buttons for your customers to add uh, uh, items to their cart by donate or subscribe. So click on that. And as you can see, you will find here the buttons that you want. So which buttons would you like to add? Select the one you need and you will guide or we will guide you through an easy setup. So select that, the one that you want. So smart buttons, as you can see. So smart buttons give customers the option to pay with PayPal, Venmo, PayPal credits, and major credit card and debit cards on almost any device. By now, make it easy to buy one or more of a single item. Add to cards, set multiple items with one payment button. Smart subscribe, uh, this is a get up a subscription plan to give your customers option, subscribe with PayPal and major credits and debit cards on almost any device. Subscribe, set up recurring ch charges of the same amount of your of, for your goods and services. And more buttons will be coming soon. So if you don't want any of those, you'll have to wait. So an example, let's just go, uh, we want to add like this buy one now. So click on it. As you can see, once you do so, you will have to simply or you'll find yourself in here. So tell us about your products. Your customers will see these details on checkout page and receipt. Of course, if you choose other button, the settings will change as an example. So if you choose this one, as you can see, you'll be taken in here. If you choose like this one, as you can see, you'll have other settings. If you choose this one, you'll have other settings. So depending on whatever you choose, you will have your own settings. So let's say as an example, we choose the smart subscribe. So as you can see here, you'll have to enter the product name. For me, I'll just enter a test. Enter plan name. I'll just enter a test example and the price i'll just put 50 monthly or weekly or daily or yearly whatever you want you can list us vertical or horizontal whatever you want and do you want its pill or rectangle pill looks better i guess color blue silver white black but the most popular is the gold so you can list as gold and button text you can list a subscribe or just paypal as you can see 
so you'll find like the change in here once you finish just go and click on create plan as example and you'll basically have to add a code to your website so they will give you the code just simply copy that code as an example and go to whatever website you're going to uh, add this uh, paypal button on into so as an example i don't know let me just uh, go to let's see godaddy so let's go to godaddy websites and see so here i'll just go and access my product access example in here and go and access this why not this website and see an example in here so we have these websites in here i'll just go and click on edit website so in here what i'll need to do simply add this code so your premium trial has ended just stay on free so we'll have to go to into settings and of course here you can like add whatever you want but for me i want to add like a custom code so we'll have to go i guess to websites instead of course like where do you add section like i forgot how to do this customization on building access so i'll just click on add section in here and code yeah let's just choose that add in here so the code will be something like that and as you can see the button it's already shown on my website it's already added so go and add your custom code on whatever website provider you have godaddy uh, i don't know if you have shopify if you have wordpress woocommerce uh, whatever you have just go and add that code as you can see they give you the code paste that code on the custom code and click on done and everything will be good to go you can of course like uh, center align it to be in the center for me this is on like uh, godaddy for you maybe you have another settings so go and choose the settings that you want once you finish just uh, for me like godaddy already everything is saved per default for you you can of course go and preview now click on pay and see what's gonna look like for them so an example the checkouts will be something like that for people so you'll have to log in into your account as an example to pay so if go in here so then of course you'll have to basically just go and pay so they will show you how it's going to look like and you'll be good to go of course if you want to disable this uh, button just go back in here click on this three dots and click on turn off turn off plan and there you have it it will be already like turned off i don't know why they log me off but anyway just turn it off and you'll be good to go so that's going to be it for me today I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to give a like uh, or put a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more hip for tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.